Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. I know a lot of you are anticipating that iOS 7 jailbreak, and one of the main reasons being because we all love to customize our device. We like to make our devices look more in a way that we so choose for it to. So today I'd like to show you all a way where you can customize your phone a little bit more without the need of a jailbreak, and that's through the use of Iconer. Now, Iconer is free in the App Store, and what it does is it gives you these little icons here that you see on my home screen now, where you can change the default icons to look a little bit more unique. So if I jump into Iconer here, I can show you the options that you would have. So taking a look here, you have different um, templates which already have pre-made icons, or if you were to go down here to the little um, four square grid, then what you can do is choose user created artwork. And these are more so random icons. So these aren't in any type of specific uh, group or anything like that. Or if you wanted to create your own, you can hit this plus right here in the middle. And this would allow you to create your own icon. I haven't played much with this option because I pretty much like the icons that came with it. So I just use those. And then clicking on this person here, this will let you see different icons that you have either created or designated as one of your favorites. And then this little sun icon here, this will let you see a little bit more in terms of your settings. So I'm going to jump back to the templates to show you all how you would download a particular icon that you like. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to play with this one here. I'm gonna choose the icons. So say for instance, I wanted this one for my camera. When I tap on it, it's gonna pull up an option where I can either save it, which would allow me to save it to my favorites, or go ahead and add the icon to my home screen. So I'm gonna choose that option. And from here, what it will let me do is type in the name of the icon that I want it to be. So you can even customize the name that appears under it. And after you get that name in there, what you're then gonna select is add link. And this is going to let you choose what happens when that icon is pressed. So if you choose to make it a activation where you call someone, it'll let you choose from your contacts. So in essence, you kind of have like a shortcut to one of your contacts on your home screen. The same thing for message and email as well. It lets you choose a contact in your phone to either message or email them. And as far as choosing an application, it'll let you choose third party applications, not any default applications. And then the website will let you choose a website that you would like to have linked to that particular icon. So I'm going to choose application and I'm going to choose uh, for my camera and just so you're aware it lets you see all of these applications but it doesn't mean that all of these applications are installed on your phone and if it recognizes that the application is not installed on your phone it will prompt you to download it so I'm gonna choose camera plus now to save that option I'm gonna hit this check mark up here is gonna take me to the page which is going to serve as the application on my home screen. So I'm gonna just add this icon to my home screen. And I'm gonna choose add to home screen here. It's gonna let me change the name of the icon that's gonna appear on my home screen. Right now I'm gonna just leave it as camera and then I'm gonna select add up here. So now I have the camera app here. So when I tap on it, it's gonna take me into camera plus. And what it does is it reroutes you to a page and then it takes you to the application. So what you are noticing here actually is one of the hiccups in using this. And I'm glad it happened because now you can see it. But basically what I've noticed in using Iconer is that it will sometimes change all of your icons that you have already done and make them one of the icons that you already have. So one of the ones that I had up here when I was showing you a demonstration of how it looked was called TMO, which is called Tech Me Out, which is where you can call one of your contacts from your home screen. So if you don't mind possibly having to reconfigure your icons then this is something that you may like but my workaround that I found where this does not happen as often is if I go into Iconer and when I choose the icon that I want say for instance this one if I save it and then I go to my favorites if I were to do this instead, then it tends to work better if I were to add the icon from my favorites instead of the theme itself. So if I were to go through the motions like I already showed you from here versus from the theme where all of the icons are. And that's just something I've noticed. But generally, once this happens, it doesn't revert back. So just keep that in mind. That is one of the hiccups of this particular application. But if you're interested in it, like I said, it's free in the App Store and it is Iconer over there. It lets you customize your home screen a little bit more and change your icon. 
and not only change how your icons look, but change the name of them. So let me know what you think of this particular application down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be supportive and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.